We got uh, remains of a crane here that probably would have been somewhere high, high up there. So yeah. 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 That's how we fly, isn't it? Yeah. You come in, Curtis? We'll go back basically to the big open chambers that we've been. Yeah. But obviously all the collapses over time have totally run it in. Down there. No way down. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys stand like this? I need to take a picture. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of. Uh, I think. I think that's that could be remain of carbide lamps, and people have left signatures there here. Twenty one. Covid nineteen. Oh, there's a phone number, no? <laughs> I think, I think I know where this goes. These are better ladders, they are a bit safer ladders than Charlie. This will be fun. Right. So get good footing obviously on the ladders and that's it. Him up a bit. Cheers. Brilliant, Matt. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Down the ladders we go. Awesome, isn't it? It's so misty at the moment. Yeah. Adds a lot of uh, character, let's say. A lot of moodiness to it. You see, the air receiver there, Antonio. Eh? Air receiver. Air receiver? Where? There. And the winch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a winch there. Yeah, that is a winch. Oh, yeah, you can see the cable of the winch. Up. Yeah. It's your best chance to take a photo here, probably. It's absolutely mental, this place. Really is. Yeah? Well, you find that, Curtis? Yeah, not too All right, you're shaking your legs. Oh, Have you got piss in your pants? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I'm like for height. We can see here the old style of UK blog. Was it like this, really, back in the days? Uh, yeah. Before the sort of flat uh, pins. It's a bit of a like, sort of an industrial one as well. That's more industrial yeah, type yeah. of blogs. Very interesting. Well, yeah, like your, your plugs, original plugs. You, the, the cable would come straight out the back of them instead of down. Yeah. So you would have them, like, a friend of mine had a house that was built in the 1950s or whatever, and all its sockets were on the, f like, like close to the floor. So when you plug the traditional cable in, it like caught on the floor. It's because the sockets were like that originally, and the cable went straight in the back. That's crazy. <clears throat> and I think they changed them like that because when the cable was straight out the back, it just kept on getting pulled out. Uh huh. It's an air tube. Old pint bottle, old milk bottle. Yeah. That's what the milk bottles are like with the foil on. So it'll have a name on that. That more like a milk bottle. Yeah. Northern. Something. Northern something. Northern. Con. That's cool. Can I read it? It's content. So that's a 60s, 70s yeah. fine bottle sort of timing. Yeah. 
in the mountain. We keep going. Oh, this, uh, that's the water line. There's a lot of water. Where the water would have been, basically, you can yeah. see very clearly. It would, it would have been about a foot and a half, two feet. But it's been flooded, isn't it? Yeah. Backfield. Yeah, that's backfield, I'm sure. Yeah. What? Oh my god. You know, I never noted this water line is crazy. It's so yeah. clear here. And here was about three foot, two, three foot, was it? This side is right. At least. Yeah, no. Lovely rails. Some water. Oh. What? No way. Flooded? Flooded where? No, a little frog. A frog? What's that? Actually, that is crazy. That is yeah. a frog. Right then. Watch it. So let's not, let's try not to disturb the thing. That's cool as well. Wow. Right, yeah. Probably the first time it sees daylight in the uh, yeah, yeah. years. <laughs> like, what the hell uh, is that? that frog is gonna die here, I tell you what. <laughs> in this mine. There's no way it's getting out. Oh, look back. Look, 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 look. Where? Okay. Living oh. frog is jumping. Really? Yeah. No way. This is crazy. Look at the light. The hell on there. Oh, the hell are eating in here? What do they eat? How did? It's got a, it's got a nice, it's got a nice spot like, yeah, um, nice like a rain, rainforest sort of rock. We we'll try and lick it and see if we trip. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that is mad. That's epic. It goes to show all the living things that come down off of the open stopes, up, up, up high above. You know, yeah. even if it's hundred meters in the surface, it's still coming down. This is sound. Yeah, I don't remember this sand, it's very interesting. Oh, it's some sort of flooded chamber. Fantastic. Maybe for storage of water, we imagine. Oh, look, this is when it's been made, mate. Something is done. It gets higher. Maybe you might put it in the water, isn't it? It's good enough to say anything. I can't remember what's here. Maybe another. This this would have been like, yeah, water tanks possibly. Or or there would have been an engine here maybe because look at these pipes. Maybe they had cables running through. Some sort of engine room maybe. Wow! Look at the glass holes here. That is smart. and uh, metal framed. This was definitely housing some sort of engine. Storage of explosives, do you think? I don't know, why, why do they have pipes then? Because these like, this are like utility pipes, like they had cables running or something. I might be wrong. What is this? Oh. This has a plastic cover, you know. I think this were ex an explosive uh, a storage place. Why would they have plastic? Unless they're trying to set to, you know, to stop water and humidity go getting through. It will stop, it will stop moisture, like. Yeah. So they, it has to be like a... Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure this was a storage of explosives. It has to be. Why else, otherwise, would they have all these plastic covers? Cool, 
lot of parts here. Which you may have fight so good. Here at the screen, put the cable, the screen won't get old. Again, it catches the uh, Minecart? These were definitely the slate carts, you see. Yeah. Rather white and a big base. Some, uh, there's some tally marks. Some sort of tally marks or drawings. 78. They were still working this mine, I think, or built in the 80s, 90s, you know. That's the beauty to this. Cart wheels, rather. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Penny's up there. There's two sets of wagons down there, Tony. Two sets. That's how deep it is. No way. Maybe he's over there. Yeah. That's so cool, man. Woo! I tell you what, when I came here, the water level wasn't this high. I can assure you, it wasn't. When I came here, when I came here, the water level it was way, way, way lower. Yeah. We look, we're looking at uh, flooded ladders. Can you light it from the side, though, here? And pass me the other light, please. Don't drop it. <clears throat> yeah, so just light it from there, from the side, and, and light it like you're lighting the whole ladder, basically. So basically, Did that pump out? Wow. when I came here some years back, it was about five meters lower the water. But it's going to make better. It's going to make better photos. This. Well, I'm going to change the batteries now. For a break, I'm gonna have a look here. See what they have. <sighs> a lot of electrical stuff here. Cool. And oh, see if I. Running chamber here. Right. Some cr compressed air, tubing and pipes. Some sort of electric motor. Electric switches. Right there. Ooh. Wow. Look at this stuff. And uh oh Curtis, you're going up there, cool. Curtis walking. 
Is it Curtis? Yeah. Curtis walking up there. And this marvelous flooded chamber, as we can see. It's some size, doesn't it? I'm gonna go up the ladders. That he's just gone and take a look at that. Wow. Wow, so cool. This is real cool. It's uh, some electrical some sort of boxes with bits and bobs. Could be another electric motor and a winch. Wow. Winch here. Yeah, this is the motor for a winch, definitely. That's the winch. Wow, that's cool. Look at that piece of machinery right here. It's alright. Smaller winch. And there's a, there's a cable system. So the winch was controlling a, a kind of pulley system, a cable system with a pulley. Yeah. And now here we have a, there's the winch that we've seen. A cable system with pulleys and a hook right down there that we've got on video before and uh, the cable system would have run the pulley with a hook just transporting slate I would imagine an equipment across from this huge chamber uh, I'm this, this walkway basically is right over the lake. So you can see from the water reflection here. And it's very good as we can see. You can't, uh, I can't really lie the bottom of it with, with my torches. It's absolutely crazy this place. So we're walking along the other side of the platform and we can take a view here of what's holding basically the cable across the chambers there's the pulley and there's the guys So, let's go on exploring and let's go on exploring and seeing the rest of the mine. Let's go on exploring and seeing the rest of this amazing place. Surprising, a lot of the electric cables still there, is it? Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Junction box. Junction box, is that where yeah. it is? What does it do? It's just so you can join other cables off it, if you like. All oh, right, okay. So you can loop off, off there to another one. Any, anything you want to come. The lid will probably come off it. That's screw in the middle of it. Uh, sometimes, yeah. So you got yeah. a screwdriver. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, there's a lot to see. Go ahead guys.
Wow, Paul, this is your subject. Tell us about it. <coughs> What's that? Yeah. Oh, could be. It's just a, like a junction, junction box, so you can... Like with, because, with, with fuses and stuff? Possibly, there's possibly fluves in there. Yeah, fuses. Fuses, yeah. Bus bar, why is bus bar? It's just a name really. It's just the name they gave it. I mean... It was probably an electric switchboard, maybe? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, some bus bars, like you have like, a certain amount of bus bar, like in a factory or somewhere, where you can... If you have mobile units or more machines, you can move, you can unplug them. Okay. And then plug them back in further along the bus bar. I've just seen what's in it. <clears throat> so that's your, that's your big high voltage cable in and out. So yeah. there, there could be some breakers in there, a breaker in there. So if what, anything what is a breaker? Anything, anything trips that side, anything shorts. Overloads, bang, you could have a, a big fuse system. All right, that'd be a fuse that's, system. That's your RCT, yeah. So, <clears throat> if somebody cuts a cable, that'll trip. Yeah. It'll trip off. Reset. And that's just your main on and off. So it loops through. Nice. Cool. Thanks, Paul. I'm not an electrician, but that's just a bit you of. Got, you got a better yeah. idea than me. Yeah. There's a BOT. My friends, Ooh, look at this. This is what we saw yesterday. Look at this beauty. Uh, an an ankle. This is what we saw. The rock thing. shovel. Look at this. This is a huge version of what you saw. With my cards still attached. And I believe there's a video somewhere they got this working, you know. I gotta find it on internet. There is a video of this rock anchor rock loader. They got it working again and moving. I mean, look at this. The the, the compressed air pipes are quite uh, quite new. And I think they did, I think they got it this moving, you know. <coughs> wow, look at this. So we had a smaller version yesterday. Smaller, yeah. Not much smaller, but yeah. Uh, <coughs> NBV, I don't know what that means. Wow. I think there is some problems on YouTube with these, not this particular one, but there is some... Where is this, Paul? <coughs> Air filter. Air filter? Yeah. Because obviously it is, these anchor rock loaders, they work with compressed air every so often, they need an air filter. Make sure there was no, nothing clogging basically the air pipes. Is that why? Yeah. That'd so be this, the is, idea. This, is, this is your, cup, your couplings, you clip together couplings. Oh. That's a coupling, yeah. Yeah, so you'd have... Oh, the rubber's still on. The rubber's still, still there. So you just lock them together. Yeah. Like that. So you can extend it. Yeah. Here we are. If they still work. That's basically, yeah. It just clips. It, it, it takes them doing, like, you've got to squish them. Yeah, you've got to crush them, crush them and twist them. Yeah, yeah I, we get the idea yeah. fully. Yeah. Nice. See if, I, see if that actually works, that valve. That is, that's, that's in working condition, that valve. Yeah. And that Absolutely. lets the air through. Or yeah. cuts the air off, basically. Yeah. Of the system. So that's a gate valve. Yeah. But they haven't, they haven't got any sortless valves there. Yeah. You know the ones we saw yesterday? Yeah. Let's Paul, see. just just for anyone that can never imagine how this would work, just, can you sort of explain how what the purpose of this yeah, machine was. So uh, you, the driver used to sit, stand, sorry, used to stand on that platform there. Yeah, do it, so. This is your controls. Go over there. This, so you would have stood there, yeah. Obviously, not against this wall. Yeah, it, it, it wouldn't have been a start, but yeah. yeah. And it can drive, it can drive it backwards and forwards through reversing the compressed air through the drive. How do they reverse it? Yeah. Is there a lever <coughs> system? Um, this one, so that's probably four. 
forward reverse. That's that's just the forward reverse. Yeah, it just switches the valve on. It, 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 it switches the valve off. There's a little air. compressed air engine in there. And then this here would have been the operation for the tub. So that's so operation that, for the actual yeah, yeah. So, tub. You, so, so what you, was the tub doing then? So you drive forward into your pile of whatever. Rocks. Or Obviously in this case rocks. Coal mines coal. Drive into it. Pushes it into the tub. And then what we do? Lever over. This would swing up. On this cantilever. Yeah, with the cantilever yeah. here. And basically it would go. Bang against right the Right back. Chuck it into the tub. Right back in the tub basically. It. Hang on. In right. It would it. swing right back into that top, basically. Yeah, into there. Pile all your rocks in. Would, it, would there been like uh, obviously something to protect this? I would imagine. No, because, no, no, because the tub goes over the top. It goes so, so that this, swings yeah. as, as far back yeah. over here. Yeah. So that basically hides that over there. Uh, how far back would have come? Up Maybe to here. Hit the springs here. Eh? That is crazy. That's a Nameco Twenty One. That's well, the springs, man. so if you imagine them springs there, yeah, them springs there, yeah, yeah would have stopped against here, yeah, against where? All oh, right, so that you can see how far back then yeah. the scoop actually went. Yeah. For them, for them, uh, what are they called? I don't I mean, know. That, that's that's just see, that's the cable holders. Look, see? Yeah. That's holding your cable. Yeah. On here. Yeah, yeah. Right. And that's what's pulling it backwards, basically. No, no, no. The chain's pulling it backwards. So it's the, the chain. chain. It's the chain that's pulling it backwards. Yeah. So the compressed air system drives the the, the chain basically yeah. to all by compressed air basically yeah. to to roll backwards. Yeah. And, the scoop, backwards. and scoop drives comes off, backwards. Drives off here. Pulls the chain. Bam. Comes against there, and all your crap goes this way. Now that's very informative, Paul. Thank Wait, you. All your rock. All your rock. Thanks.